Hey guys, been a long as shit time. Um, let's talk about my divorce. So I'm also going to take the very uh, little bit of makeup off of my face that I have. Um, these makeup uh, removing wipes. I know they're like so terrible for the environment and I need to stop using them, but I've purchased them and so I need to use them up. So, headbands on. Oh, I need to wash it. It's got it's probably some root spray in there because, you know, whatever. Okay, so. The only thing I've had on my face today is a little bit of a tinted moisturizer. Um... I had on mascara that is long gone. I had on some like brow gel, probably also gone. Anyway, okay, so let's chat. It's been about a zillion years because I gave up on my YouTube channel because I, um, like an idiot, I think I thought that YouTube channels like just grew that's not the case. Um, and I realized I was getting into it for the wrong reasons. I was getting, I was starting to make videos because I wanted people to like pay attention to what I had to say instead of just sitting down for the love of X and talking about it. So we're going to try to give it another shot. So I'm wiping off a little bit of what I had left over, which is clearly not much. Um, Toss that. And I figured I'd sit down and talk about uh, something that I don't like to talk about often uh, or ever. Um, and that's my divorce. So in 2016, I got divorced. I was 34. Math. Um, I had been married for 10 years. Got married in 2005 when I was 24. Shocking. It was, uh, this is some uh, generic lip balm, but my lips are on fire and I'm nervous. So awkwardly uh, doing anything again to not have to talk about this. Okay, so face is wiped off. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna go in with this from The Ordinary. It is their Caffeine Solution 5% EGCG. So, Back of my hand, two drops. Let's talk about this divorce. So, at the time, I was working full-time. I'm an accountant um, at a financial shared services center where my then husband also worked. We uh, had apparently been having problems that I either did not recognize or, or that did not exist to me um and came home one day he said that he needed to talk and what he meant by that was that he needed to talk to me about the fact that he was leaving and I was devastated I fell onto the ground literally fell onto the ground did not know what to do, how to speak words, but how to function. What is that? I have real questions about that spot. Um, he told me that he had been unhappy for a long time. And I know that a lot of people say that and a lot of people also say, oh my God, I didn't know. But this is really a case for me of I did not know. And I'm, I think we'll explain, <sighs> I'll explain why as we get a little bit farther into it. So. He packed a bag on a Wednesday. Oh, battery's dying. That's great. Packed a bag on a Wednesday, left. He said, I begged him to stay. Can we please talk? I don't understand what's happening. Can we just have a discussion about this? He said, no, I'm leaving. Is there anybody that you want me to call for you? And I said, yes. So he called a very dear friend of mine said, I am calling to let you know that I'm leaving Christy. 
I'm walking out the door right now. She's not in a good space. Fucking duh. Um, and if you're available, it would be nice of you to swing by. So needless to say, she got in her car and drove uh, like the wind to my house, which was in a different city. Ordinary, nice and amid, 10% uh, plus zinc, 1% great for uh, blemishes. It's also a high strength of vitamin or all things by the ordinary. Um, so she shows up a few minutes, a few minutes, Lord, it felt like an eternity. What was probably 30 minutes later? I am, I am still um, sitting in a pile in the kitchen, not at all understanding what has transpired over the course of those 60 minutes. So in the midst of trying to explain to her what has gone on, I am also kind of trying to wrap my brain around what has gone on. Um, she pours me a very stiff bourbon, which is my drink of choice, and we sit on the kitchen floor because I physically cannot get up. And that's that night, that night in May. Um, the next day I wake up, I take a shower, I go to work. Remember that that is also where he works, a whole two rows over from my space. I see that he has taken off his wedding ring. And that is like a pivotal moment because I had heard the words that he said yesterday, but in my brain, I thought we'll go to counseling. We will make this work. We will figure out whatever this is. We can do this. And when I saw that he had taken his ring off, I knew that that was not the case anymore. That was not where he was and so I needed to settle up with that uh, but when I saw that I also immediately uh fell apart so I ran uh, to my car and cried for what felt like forever what was probably legitimately nine minutes maybe ten it wasn't that long and I remember that because it was 8.30 and I had a nine o'clock meeting. And so I knew that I had to have enough time to get back in, fix my shit so that I didn't look like a train wreck and go to this meeting. And I did. I made it through the rest of the day, avoiding him, avoiding anyone basically, um, and not answering any questions as much as I could. I don't know. Uh, next, we're going in with Banana Brightening Eye Cream from Earth to Skin. Got this at Walmart in a little kind of sample set. And I just squirt a little bit on the back of my hand. We'll kind of warm it up in my fingers and, you know, you know how that goes. I don't have to tell you. So we avoid each other for the day. Um, and I go home. And I proceed to call on my other very good friend and explain that I basically cannot breathe, um, that I am having the world's biggest panic attack to me. I already suffered from um, anxiety, so this was not a new thing. She asked why, I told her what happened. She said, okay, I'm on my way. She then came over. Uh, first friend had to go to work that night. It was fine. She asked me what happened. I tell her that I know very little because I don't understand what's happening. Because I don't understand what's happening at that point. Um, Thursday comes, I go to work. Like I said, Friday comes, I go to work. Saturday, I get a text from him 
that essentially says, I've rented a U-Haul. I'm coming home to get my stuff. Please don't be there when I get there. I'll call you when I leave. And for some stupid reason, I listened to him and I left my house that I was mostly paying for because I made more money than him. I left my house. Now, to be fair, it was probably the best thing because I can't imagine what that would have been like. Um, but I should have at least had a conversation about, I don't know, something. I should have stood up for myself a little bit more and said, okay, are, are we really doing this? Is this where this ends? Is this how this goes? Because if it is, I just need to know about it. Oh, well, spoiler alert, that was how it ended. So I leave. He comes and spends an entire Saturday. I go to my mother's house. I do not tell her why I am there. Um, he packs up his stuff and he leaves. Oh, sorry. That was from that same Earth to Skin. This is Super Fruits. Uh, citrus gel cream. I have oily skin, so like, generally speaking, those really thick nighttime, like emollient, don't work for me. Anyway, I look very shiny. It's fine. It'll sink in, I'm sure. So, I go to my mom's. I don't tell her why I'm there. He packs up his crap. He leaves. And to be honest, the next probably three weeks are a blur. Because what's happening is we are selling this house that we just built, built from scratch uh, in November. We are selling that house in May. My sister's a realtor, thank God for her. Um, we still took a bath on it, but whatever. Um, we are selling it. I am telling my mother and my sister what has happened because I can clearly no longer keep that a uh, secret. I move in with my mom once the house sells because my sister, again, is a real estate agent. She's amazing. If you're in Lexington, Kentucky, holler. I'll let you know her info. Um... It's a whirlwind and it's something I never thought would happen to me. I was the first of my friends to get a divorce. And I, I don't say that. I don't, so trust me. I do not wear that as a badge of honor. Um, but in my friend group, I was the first person to get divorced and no one really understood what it meant coming from a, a Catholic religion where you didn't do that. He and I were both Catholic. I actually converted uh, because he was Catholic. It was not a thing that was a recognizable option. And so when he said, I'm unhappy and I don't want to be married to you anymore, I thought that meant I'm unhappy now and I don't want to be married to you now. So we need to figure out how to fix this now. Um, that was wrong. So those months were an absolute whirlwind. Um, and one of the things that I found myself doing um, was A, eating um, everything and all of my feelings. And then more importantly, I'm picking up an eyebrow pencil because I talk with my hands. Can you see that? Oh. Um, more important to that, I realized and was starting to realize that I didn't know how to be single um, because I hadn't been in so long. I went to college and like dated in college and then immediately after college, I basically got married um, and had lived 
most of my adult life as someone's wife. And like, how just weird is that to think about what that means? Um, so that's kind of the story of the divorce. It happened really fast. I think from the day that he left, was, which was mid-March 2016, to the day the paperwork was filed was, I mean, like formalized, filed like at the courthouse, um, early August, early August. Um, Kentucky, which is where I live, so no fault state, so you can fire without, fire, Lord, not fire. You can file without um cause so it doesn't have to be like he cheated on me she stole my money she, what he she whatever um you can file like irreconcilable differences um which is what we did because it was easier and uh got it over faster looking back on it i wished i had filed um that he was a cheating piece of shit so that it was like in the public record <laughs> but that's petty so no shame on me um but it's fast and then I went through what I think um a lot of people go through or at least a lot of people I know go through which is kind of that I'm not getting to date anyone boys are trash asshole garbage pieces of shit uh gross and so I didn't and then I went through that phase of like I'm gonna date everybody dates monday through thursday friday and saturday girls night out sunday brunch did not work out for me um so that was that now there's a much happier ending to this story and maybe we'll talk about that and get ready with me see that bad bitch right there that big ass rock. Yeah, dog. Um, so anyway, that was the world's most basic and simple get unready with me because I washed essentially nothing off my face and then I put like three things on it. But I told you about my divorce. So I hope that you find that it's a little um, more about me. Uh, kind of a get to know me, whatever that is, um, situation. I hotly debated, hold please, putting this mess on my face. Do you guys remember this from like a boxy charm? It's 24 karat gold foil moisturizer from Fossia that was like essentially glycerin in a jar. And it was like, I mean, just the worst, right? And it was like sticky. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. It's like goopy. I've been, it's here because I haven't thrown it away. Um, I don't know what to do with it. If y'all got it and you've done something with it, like where on your body are you putting this? Because it makes me nervous to like put it on my face. I don't know. Anyway, I've rambled for 20 minutes. I've told you about the day that my life fell apart and um, some subsequent bad choices <laughs> that were made in my dating game. Um... But it's good to be back. I'm in a new space, um, which is exciting for me. I don't live where I lived uh, in my previous videos. Um, so that's nice. I think that what I would like to get back to, just a couple more minutes, I'll let you go. What I'd like to get back to doing, get back to doing like I ever did them, what I would like to do are some get ready with me's. I am not a makeup artist, I am an accountant. Uh, but I do go to work every day, so I put something on this face. Get ready with me is get unready with me is chit chats, product reviews, but I don't buy a lot of new products because I have so much that I'm trying to use up. So maybe some like project pan kind of videos or like shop my stash. Maybe that's the jam. Maybe it's shop my stash. That is my better move. Um, testing out uh, maybe like rediscovered products. So like... What do I have sitting on my desk right now? I have a Laura Geller Illuminator in Ballerina. Man, I hope she's not expired because she's pretty. Um, I've got like an hourglass blush, contour palettes. Oh, let me talk about this really fast. Repurchased, because it had been a minute, girlfriends and boyfriends. 
um, Bare Minerals used uh, this foundation and mineral veil this morning. Really liked it. Uh, it's hot in Kentucky. It's really kind of humid. Powder foundation is nice. So maybe we'll do some stuff like that. I really would just like to get back into it and start making videos. If no one watches them, that's totally fine. I mean, I would love it if somebody did, but you know, whatever. There's like a billion people talking about makeup on YouTube and everything else. Um, but it would be nice, I think, for just me to get back to it. Um, I would love to do some more skincare stuff. Some of the first videos I did were skincare related. Um, talking about the ordinary, talking about makeup revolution. Um, that didn't work out for me, but that's okay. Um, so maybe we'll get back to that. Anyway, if you're watching this, thank you for joining me. Love to hear a hi, a hello. If you have this lovely, what even are these cat ears? It's not a bunny, but it'd be floppier. I don't know what this is. Stop by, say hello, chat. Christy Tries Life. I will commit to posting more on my Christy Tries Life Twitter account. Um, at this point, you know what, y'all, though? I might just post from my regular old, like, Christy K82, Christy 82K, whatever it is. Um, because you girl does not have time for, like, social media bouncing. I just don't. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, if you're watching, thank you for joining me. I'll talk to you guys later.